So in my last video, I uh, gave some first impressions on this uh, saxophone mute that I'm using on contrabassoon. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go into a little more uh, depth, a little more exhaustive uh, look at the differences um, it makes. Uh, first of all, I'm going to just play a full chromatic scale from low B flat up to tenor B flat. Um, alternating between um, unmuted and muted, using mute in heavy quotes because, of course, the effect isn't anything like uh, mute on a brass instrument. Thank you. 
Now, as far as intonation is concerned, um, the only note that I found that was noticeably impacted was the low B flat, which was actually flattened by about 40 cents. Um, that would be a pretty big problem if the low B flat on this contrabassoon wasn't about 30 cents sharp anyway. So that actually brings it closer to in tune. Um, the other notes, I didn't notice um, significant uh, intonation impact. Uh, another thing I noticed is that the low B becomes extremely unstable at anything other than a piano. Uh, finally, for the, the notes that only use the left hand, it's um, possible to manipulate the mute with your right hand while you're playing. Now, I say possible because the effect on those uh, left hand notes, C, D, E, uh, is pretty small. And in fact, you can pretty much get the same effect by, uh, get the same effect more easily by, instead of using the mute, closing uh, certain keys on the right hand or adding keys to the fingerings for those notes. Uh, but here's an example anyway. <laughs> 